and welcome to another video tutorial with Märklin of Sweden. Today we're going to focus on windows. Windows for structures and buildings. Windows are used in every building except bomb shelters possibly. If you happen to model one of those, guess not. Uh, so uh, then windows will be an issue for you as well as for me. Especially if you're running era 1, 2 or 3 where the uh, windows typically have a lot of uh, complicated uh, uh, woodwork. Uh, this is one way to do it. I bought the kit, threw the kit away and just used the windows. Not so economic, but hey, it works. The plastic stuff is a bit thick though, so it, uh, you know, it looks okay, but not awesome. This is another way to do it. Uh, this is a typical uh, goods shed in Sweden. Uh, for this window I made wires. So I soldered wires together and painted them white. Put them on the outside of some plastic parts. That's another way to do it. But today we're gonna look at this method which I found the most convenient and with the best result. Uh, this is a home for soldiers in the turn of the century. Right, so let's get started. If I don't have an actual drawing of the window I'm going to do, I always make a sketch and make some basic dimensions there so I know what to go for. The windows I'm doing in this tutorial is 70 centimeters times 120, which equals approximately 14 millimeter times 8 millimeter in HO scale. The window pane in my windows is just clear plastic from uh, packages, you know, for toys and stuff. And I clean that with isopropanol to make sure that I don't have any stains from fingers or uh, oil. I start by masking the entire plastic surface where I will have my windows. I then use a steel scale to get a straight and clean cut with a razor blade through the paper tape, not through the plastic. It's quite easy to feel when you have cut through the paper tape because the paper tape is like textured and the plastic underneath is just smooth. I cut a one millimeter wide slot which will represent the center beam in uh, all of the windows actually. I will build them on top of each other along this uh, center beam. And then I mark every four millimeters, which was the uh, measurement for this window uh, along the tape. So I have uh, something as a guideline when I do the horizontal cutting. And I cut these to the same uh, width as the center beam, namely one millimeter. I found it convenient to lift the edge with the um, razor blade and peel it off with a tweezer. Once all of the tapes are removed, it looks like this and we're ready to paint. I will do the painting with an airbrush and with some suitable white color, if your windows are white that is, of course. The important thing when spraying this is to use a very tiny amount of color, so the color is like dry when it comes onto the plastic, so it does not build up against the mask, because if it does, it will stick better to the mask and get peeled off when you remove the tapes. And that is of course not what we want to do. Uh, the window where would work will be the paint which remains after the mask has been removed. I build the sash from one millimeter thick balsa wood. This is typically picked up in an error modeling shop. If you're not into cutting balsa wood, you can buy this ready-made from North Eden uh, Scale Lumber at 88.7 times higher cost, but hey, if you don't want to cut, you don't want to cut. So with some help from my steel scale, I cut uh, 0.5 mm thick uh, uh, sashes and then I paint them white with the same color used for spraying. Time for cutting. So I start by uh, fixing two uh, steel scales to the table like this. So I get a proper and fixed 
set up to get a consistent length of all of the cut pieces. This piece should be 14 millimeters and the short one should be eight. I fixed them with the Faller Super Expert uh, glue, which is really intended for plastic kits. And I just fixed them onto the clear plastic in the right position, like this. When they're all in place and uh, properly dry, I cut them uh, all off the plastic at once from a steel scale, meaning that I actually cut away a tiny piece of the woodwork as well. This helps uh, a lot to make sure that the windows get a, a rectangular, proper rectangular shape. So uh, cut many times through, do not try to cut all at once, cut many times with just a moderate amount of force on the blade. Then cut each individual window on the horizontal part. And here are the windows. I finish off by painting the sides of the plastic, the clear plastic part. For uh, this project I just glue the windows on the outside of the wall like this. Uh, for more uh, precise buildings closer to the viewer it might be an idea to make a hole uh, in the wall and put the window inside. All right, that's how I make my windows. I uh, hope you found the tutorial useful. Uh, there are of course other options if you want to make customized windows like uh, buying them ready-made uh, as laser etched or um, uh, just etched in uh, brass. Uh, or even uh, uh, 3D printed. I know 3D printed windows are coming more and more in the market now and some dealers are offering that. So that might be an exciting uh, future to look forward to. Meanwhile, I make my windows like this. If you like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel by clicking the subscription button and you will get a notification once next video goes live. Until that happens, See you.